Hello, beautifuls. Good afternoon, good morning, and good evening. We always like to share this very greeting because we know that we are around the world. Tibetans are all over the world, and they know the right thing, and they kept on doing the right thing. And so always, we are always excited seeing things taking shape and happening just the way it is favoring us. Every situation, every condition is always a plus for Tibetans, irrespective of whatever that is happening. We are a private community. And as such, the admin of this very community has determined how things will be moving. And because of that, we are mostly unaffected many a time because of the how situation is moving or is going around the world. Okay? So, I am using this opportunity to tell you, welcome to this, my broadcast. It's going to be brief uh, because uh, it's just a kind of reminder for us to get going and to keep our mind focused, to keep reminding ourselves constantly of the need to keep maintaining our position in TBC, especially those in mass adoption team. Congratulations! And I want to believe and strongly believe so that we are all doing our possible best to keep hold on that great opportunity, that fine position that the TBC admin has opened for the builders, for those who are making things work, those who are keeping the movement in TBC ever forward. So if you are there, congratulations and May you please do well to remember that today is 28 March 2020. In just a few days now, it will be April 1st. And while people are fooling around with April, April fool, we are turning the April to be wise one. We are turning the April to be April filled with great opportunity, great income. Because on the 1st of April 2020, all Tibetans. In fact, let me say, good number of them are going to make their payment. And when you do that, what does that remind you? When you pay, you get paid. That is just the beautiful things in TBC community. And we are glad over that. We are indeed very happy that things is taking shape in that very well. So this morning, yes, if you are still morning, even though the sun is already up, yeah, okay. It's still morning here in Nigeria, Bon State to be precise. I just want to remind us of one thing. You know, when we were a little bit younger, we were still growing. We are very, we were little, okay, we were, we were small. Whenever we see a masquerade going, okay, or anytime there is a festive period whereby masquerade will be everywhere dancing and you know, supporting people around and things of that nature. We are always told to be careful because those masquerades, they are not human, but what? But spirits. And those fears actually kept us, you know, let me say protected. We were shivering. We don't want to have anything to do with spirits because they will harm us. And to scare us away, they usually go with Cain, you know. Mm -hmm. That is just the, the way it is. Okay? The, 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 the fact is that we will do everything possible, okay, not to be caught by the masquerade. Because if they get at you, they're going to flog you. And if you go beyond the limit, some actually go to extreme. If you go beyond the limit, some people actually lose their life because everything necessary within their power will be done to protect the masquerade because he did not play with the spirits and go scot free. So we were meant to fear the spirits. So <laughs> this is just by the wayside, but I believe that we still know what we are talking about. So, folks, Tibetans are indeed in a better position, in a better way. Forget about those who are, you know, uh, struggling to see how they could be able to make other things work. Okay? Yes. 
they are doing that because they believe in what they are doing. But we in TBC, we believe in what we are doing. And we believe that there's no point jumping from pillar to post because all that is needed to keep us going, keeping our pockets smiling <laughs> day by day, you know, keeping us hopeful, we have them intact in TBC. And that is why you talk about how you can make TBC, how you can grow your TBC, okay? How you can use it, part of it to get uh, items, how you can spend your part TBC and part cash to get items because TBC is not yet fully, you know, optional, so to say. It's not fully spendable. Some are still, you know, collecting part TBC and part cash. And that's the way it goes for now, okay? We have that intact in TBC. Talking about the real members, those who know what is happening in TBC and those who know the right way and the right source to go about it, we have, because we already have merchants accepting part TBC and part cash. Then, we also have Bitcoin. Bitcoin is readily spendable today because, yes, to understand Bitcoin, many people have come to know Bitcoin and you can easily make good use of Bitcoin. Even though not everybody accepting it, but you can easily exchange Bitcoin to cash. Then, in the same TBC, we also have opportunity to make Bitcoin. <laughs> not just to mine. <laughs> not just to mine Bitcoin, so to say. All these uh, what small children are doing here and they say, come, we are going to be mining a uh, Bitcoin. Uh -huh. And they will plug you in a program. <laughs> it will take... Before you even get some satoshis, which is never withdrawable, even if you have to withdraw it, you have to sweat it out. But people don't know what they are losing just to make make crumbs, so to say, outside programs promoting Bitcoin or how to get it. But here in TBC, folks, when I said that we have it all, and when I said that we don't have any reason jumping here and there in order to make a in, in income in order to make things work for us we have everything clearly intact in tbc okay so let's not because of the fearful scenarios happening around us everywhere around the world and we get confused a lot no we have everything intact in tbc community because in tbc you make tbc you can spend tbc you also make bitcoin you also help people. You also benefit others. Tell me what else are you looking for? And people are not just sincere. Let me use that word. Sincere and not patient enough to see the benefit of what is happening. People are not just clearly opening their eyes to understand what is happening. Because some are busy, comfortably saying TBC is a scam. TBC is that. TBC is the worst. TBC Okay. TBC is a scam, a scam that go about feeding people, a scam that go about helping the, the, the less privileged, a scam that go about sponsoring trips of its ambassadors just to make sure that they reach out to the poorest of the poor and get things going, a scam that advertises freely on the media, on radio, in television, a scam that hold press conferences, a scam that reach out to people. In fact. This type of scam, please, let me tell you congratulations if you are in this scam called TBC. Somebody was telling me the other day, hey, Amechi, admin gave you people opportunity to enrich yourself. To enrich yourselves. And you were so damn enough, you were so foolish to go about using that money, benefiting others. And you don't know that that money is enough to, for you to have changed your life. Really? Look at That is what they're after. That is where they are going. And that is what has kept them remaining where they are. Always remember this very clear standard. Clear fact. If you are giving to give, make sure that you give. If you are ever giving to give, make sure that you give it out. Yes, it's coming. And it's going to come in, in, in quantum, in bigger measure. Look at the opportunity. Look at the provisions that the admin is making for those in mass adoption team. Look at the fine opportunity that admin is busy working out for those who have been patient enough, who have withstood all whatsoever name calling, bad mouthing, accusation, prison, everything, you name it. 
just what you are going to get in TBC in time to come is going to, in fact, surprise many. What we are already getting is making people to run, a kind of, in shame, because they were told about this, but they laughed it away. They were told about the opportunity in TBC, but their pride, the greatness in them, wouldn't just allow them. The immediate gratification syndrome in them wouldn't just allow them. So, let me tell you this. I want to remind you the meaning of fear. F-E-A-R. Forget everything and run. <laughs> Forget everything and run. So, you're forgetting your family. You are forgetting your responsibilities. You are forgetting your you are forgetting your, your, your basic needs. You are forgetting your right as human. You are forgetting your freedom. And run. Does it really worth it? Why not do your best to understand what is happening and be wise enough not to allow your freedom to be taken away from you by those who don't even know their own freedom? So, friends, in TBC. It makes me happy every time every even when i'm sleeping i wake up and remember that i'm in tbc i'm always saying thank god the payday is around the corner okay and uh, let me remind you again that we are one of the few businesses still operational no matter what is happening we are still one of the few businesses still operational in big way. So if you are, if you are here to remind your team that April 1st is around the corner, please do a bit late now, but do well to remind them. And when you remind them, let them know the value, the benefit of having their payment gotten latest on the first for them to get the maximum coin that the admin is giving out. 30 foot TBC. Okay? And when you also have that done and get others in your team to pay and get that benefit, you start to make a whole lot of money. Spendable Bitcoin. Spendable TBC. Because I bought a fan from GMC during the conference in Lagos. Everything I spent on that fan was nothing. Because the electrician fixing it for me i said please i need this fan because i, I still have need about three or three or more, more so how much can i get it in the market and he told me clearly that the price i will use to get that fan okay that they just got something like this not quite long for their church the price he told me i was just smiling within me i said look at the opportunities that they have in tbc Look at the opportunity that people are playing away with. Look at the opportunity that we have and we don't even know it. The GMC store is busy trying to get TBC spendable here in Nigeria. But others are trying to study, okay, how are they getting this? What really make them to be able to be selling this? That even if you go to the market, you're going to get it higher. But these people, they'll give you cheaper. You still pay with your Kringle. You still pay with part, part, your, part, part cash. How are they really getting, doing that? instead of being open and supporting those who are making things to work. They, too, they are doing one thing or the other, but they are not ready even to collect 1% of TBC. And they are busy going out there to, to bad mouth TBC. Stop doing that, folks, and let us stand up and believe in what we have, because we are the one that is going to give TBC the real value it is out. So, don't look at what we are seeing to be wasting of time, or what we are doing to be a mere wasting of time. No. If you are yet to pay for your admin fee, please do that now. Do let, get your payment across because you cannot afford to drop down to team B. No problem if you choose to so decide. But my people used to say, I cannot be in the water and soap enters my eye. Because I have a lot of water to wash it off my face. I need to get people into TBC. I need to regularly sign people up. I need to stand up and let us push this thing forward because. We have a whole lot of things, a whole lot of benefits coming to us through TBC. And so, folks, may I still remind you not to allow or not to, because of anything, get yourself out of the mass adoption team. This is me, Amlechi. 
always be ready for us to keep going because admin is pushing us to do things right. Congratulations as a TBC member. Let us not for any reason, I keep on repeating, let us not for any reason, let us support Mbe Derek. Constantly, he's always on the Facebook, on YouTube, StreamYard, making sure that he teach people. I used his ideas the other day, the approach, okay? And guess what? I got a lot of people signed up because what we are saying is making more meaning now to people, okay? Are you stuck at home? Yes. Are you making money? Why stuck at home? They'll be surprised. Make money how? I am at home. How can I make money? But here in TBC, all it takes is direct, correct approach. Send them those pictures, those questions that Agni has uploaded for us and see things happening. You see all those who were formerly asking you that TBC is nothing. So you mean that from this thing, you're actually making money, even though it's not much, but you actually, you, you are making money at all from this. And I laugh. So friends, when I say that we have everything we need in TBC, some people will not really understand it. But let us not allow mere distraction, because I call it distraction. And let those who are busy discouraging their team members from paying the admin fee, you are not doing something good. You are wicked. You are wicked because you're the one telling them not to pay and you're busy paying. What are you doing? And you say you're helping them. Are you not that wicked? Let them, tell them what to do. Let it be that they cannot be able to do it. Tell them, teach them, because you that is doing them, you are not, you don't have two heads. Please, let us do the right thing in TBC, because karma is always there. If you fool people, karma will always catch up with us. Congratulations if you're a TBC member. Let us continue to do what we're doing. Thank you so much.